you, you really want to dab more, less dragging, you're going to get dab. really bad wrinkles. Dab. I'm telling you. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you are wondering who this is to the right of me, that is Madison. This is my eight-year-old daughter. She is going to be doing my makeup today. So it's super fun just to have some different people on here, different experiences, different people doing my makeup. I've had my husband on here previously to do my makeup. I'll go ahead and link that above. That was really funny. So I decided that I was gonna have Madison come on and do my makeup and she's really excited to be here. So before we get into the video, just make sure you subscribe and give a big thumbs up <laughs> all right guys we'll get right into it all right guys so we zoomed on in so you can see a little bit closer of a look of what Madison is going to be doing today however my head is obviously cut off so we're gonna get right on into it what is gonna be the first thing that you do Madison I'm gonna use this so this is the hydro grip primer by milk makeup so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a couple pumps here on my finger. Three, two, two. Do, do three, but more than just a finger. Do like this so you don't One, get it everywhere. Three. Oh, you really did put three pumps on your finger, huh? <laughs> Show them. So she really did put three individual pumps on each finger. All right, go ahead and apply it to the face. I'm gonna try to face like this so they can still kind of see me. So it's fine. I'm gonna put it. One. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Oh, You're fine. it's just your, um, I don't want to get that in your face. My nose, right? Yeah. You're okay. Oh, this feels so smooth. I know, I love it a lot. It's one of my favorite primers. And it gets, like, sticky, so you know, like, your foundation and stuff is really going to stick to it. Okay, so what is our next step? Yep, so she picked out all of the makeup that she has here is going to be all the makeup she went through my drawers and picked. She picked the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear, which is actually not my favorite foundation, but we'll, we'll make it work. So let me take my earrings off real quick so she can put all my foundation without getting them all over my earrings. All right, so what are you grabbing to apply my foundation this today? Mm -hmm. What's that one? So this a beauty, beauty blender. blender. It's blue. This is Sapphire Beauty Blender. It was it's a limited edition, sapphire. I think. That's fine. <laughs> Give it a shake. Oh. Yeah, this one's kind of runny. I'm gonna use this side first. Okay. I wanna get it like my So we zoomed it in a little bit more so you guys can kind of see, but with both of us here, I don't think we'll be able to zoom it in too, too much. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna do it to your ears when I'm gonna blend this one. Okay. In two times. All right. All right. It's fine if it gets in my hair. Gets in my hair all the time. Ask them. Why is this so hard? Because you're supposed to pounce it. Oh. There you go. See how much easier that is to use? Oh, I should use that side. Yeah, because that's where you applied it. You're silly goose. Oh <laughs> Look at that! And then I'm going to have to blend it in. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. So Madison is really into makeup, just like her mommy. And she has started her own little collection. She has recently started Instagram, and I'll go ahead and I'll link it below. So you guys can check it out. She's starting to do a little bit of modeling and... She wants to do some fun, like, vlogging and stuff soon. What are we moving on to next, Maddie? Concealer, and I'm using this one. Which is the Morphe. This is the Morphe Fluidity. It keeps trying to find our faces. The Morphe Fluidity, and this is in the shade C1.65. So let's go. Yeah, we do. Go ahead and put the concealer on. I do lines or dots. This one I'm going to do lines. Okay. I'll still get right there. Okay. I'm going to be very careful with this one. All right, guys, so we did go ahead and zoom it in just a little bit more so you can kind of see what she's doing a little bit better. You can't see the top of our heads, but that's okay. All right, so what are we doing now now that you put the concealer on? We're going to beauty blend it with this <laughs> one. We're going to beauty blend it with that one. So let's get right on. I really, really, really like a good blinding under eye. <laughs> you, you really want to dab more, less dragging. You're going to get dab. really bad wrinkles. Dab. 
I'm done with you. Alright, what's the next thing now that you're done with my concealer? Um. Milk makeup. Milk makeup with. the. This is the Blur and Set setting powder. It's not going to focus, um, guys, because the lights, because it's all white container. But this is the Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder so in translucent light. So for my setting powder, I like to use the Morphe M510. If you are not new to my channel, you know that. If you are new, now you know. It's good for the eye. It's good for the face. It's good just all around. So careful popping that up. All right. Powder will get everywhere. All right. Look at you go. All right. So now we are done with the setting powder. What's your next step, Maddie? Eyebrows. All right. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz with the spoolie broken off. And this is in the shade medium brown, which I'm actually dark brown, but I don't mind this shade too much. All right. So you're not very, she's not very good at brows um, because do brows. she doesn't really do her brows. She has pretty okay brows. They just need to be cleaned up every now and again. So she doesn't really have to do that where <laughs> mom unfortunately has uh, no brows. All right, go ahead. So you just fill them in to make them look. Instagram worthy. Uh -huh. What's wrong? I'm not giving you brows. I'm giving you short brows. It's okay. Just do the best you can. Alright. Make sure it's filled in. Next one. Go ahead. the worst brows I've ever seen. You did, you did okay. <laughs> okay, moving on. All right, Maddie picked her eyeshadow palette she wants to use. James Charles palette. <laughs> okay, James Charles palette. She has a hard time saying it. So say mommy has only used this one like three times. It's sold out everywhere. People are still trying to get it and mommy has barely touched it. So I have a lot of eyeshadows though, to be fair. Like that's not fair. All right, so we'll go ahead and put it up here for you to unleash your inner artist. What? All right, so what look are we deciding to do today, man? A natural look. That's what I always A natural look? Yeah. I'm okay with the natural looks. So, and um, what brush are you going to use? She's using the ABH brushes that come with their palettes. It is one of my favorite. So I'm going to use... And I don't have the names because it came on the plastic yeah. and not on the palette. I'm so use unfortunately like I got rid of that. Peach. Like a peach color. Okay. So do you want me to hold it up so yeah. they can see it? I'll be the holder of the palette, but I gotta be careful because my mic's there. So I'm gonna use this color. It's like peach. Not really. It's like a probably a nude, like yeah. a natural nude color. And I'm gonna use this side of the brush or the blender or the packing. Yeah. I think I'm gonna use the blending area. Yeah. Okay. So what are you doing with it? You're going all over the eye? Yeah. Okay. So you gotta tell them what you're doing. So I'm gonna go all over with the eye so it's like kind of white but peach. Okay. So are you setting it? Yes. Okay. So it's like a base? Yes. Okay. So then I'm gonna go in with this light pink. Which one? This one right here. This. And again, I don't have the names of these because it, it came on the plastic. Ooh, it came <laughs> here. Come over here. It came on the plastic slip, so unfortunately, I did not keep the plastic slip, so it was thrown out. So okay. I don't know the names, but she's going in with the light pink. So I'm gonna go with the, with the light pink one. Her, on her eyelid. Okay. What are we doing next? Um. I really want to go with this. Okay, so you're done with the James Charles palette? Yeah. Okay, and what palette is this one? The. This is the Violet Voss Rider Die Pro. The Violet Voss Pro Rider Die palette. This palette was actually $75, and I have only ever swatched it. Only a couple of them have only ever been swatched. The only reason I bought this palette is because it has my name in it, Jamie, right here. It's just a bunch of girl names in here, so I really Nicole. love that it had, yeah, it has your middle name in there, Nicole. I think it has Madison, too. No, it has Madeline. Madeline. Yeah, which like is it. actually what she was going to be named, but we went with Madison. It's actually the only reason I bought this palette, so $75, just to sit there. It's nice, though. I really, really like it. It's very beautiful. 
I'm actually going to use... And I'm sorry, Jamie was the silver one, not the black one. Which one are you going to use? I think I'm going to use Nicole. Okay. So, you know, Courtney, Josie, Monica, that's Nicole. So, it's like... Okay, you want to go ahead and... This brown? So, it's going to be a taupe. Like a, like a taupe, just a light brown. Yeah. <laughs> you can do your best. Listen, Mom's been doing this for a while, and I still can't tell them what kind of... I just go, it's like a brown... It's like Brownish. it's in the brown family. Well, there's actually like this green yellow, and mm -hmm. it looks like a lime. But there's also cool names, but it does not cool colors. Yeah. No, none cool colors, but cool names. Okay. And then what I'm gonna go in with a glitter one. A glitter one? Ooh, it was in the James Charles. Yeah. Palette. All right, we are going back to the James Charles palette. So she is gonna go in here with this shimmery purple right here. Shimmer, shimmer. So she's gonna go ahead and do what? Put that on my lid. Okay. So with, when fallout happens, here, coming to the screen. When fallout happens, you can just go like this when you're done. And you'll be like able to get off. Yep. So she was a little afraid of actually digging into the purple in the palette. She doesn't want to hurt my palette, but she can go ahead and give it a little dig. With the um, shimmers with James Charles, you got to kind of like circle in there. Um, the mattes are a little bit better than the shimmers. I actually am not the biggest fan of... The shimmer. I love. Glitter. I love the palette. I think that you know, it gives a lot of options. But I also think that, so did the Morphe. What was a thirty-five B? I kind of think it's just like a, a remake of that, adding neutral colors. So I don't. I never really understood why people got so crazy over this. The only reason I got this was because right before Christmas they had um, released it or had put more in Ulta, and I was in there picking up stuff for my family, and I was like, you know what? I'll just add it to my collection. I'm gonna do a review on it, but I don't think that it's a terrible palette. I just not really. I don't know. I think that if this is the only palette you have, it'll be fantastic because you have a lot of options. But I think if you have several other palettes, then uh, it's probably not the best idea. I would have it. Are you only doing the one eye? You will have it. No. You can have it when I'm done with it. Did you put purple in this eye? Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 it looks like. Oh, all right. Good. What so, are we doing next? And then I'm going to use this little pink. All right, so she's going to go in with a shimmery pink on the palette no. and we're not sure where she's going to put it but she's going to put it somewhere. You're never going to have no glitter. No glitter. Ooh. See and that's another thing about Morphe's palettes. But to be fair it's a very pigmented palette. I will give him that. It's not that I don't think the palette is good. I think it's okay. I think that it is pigmented for what you're getting but I just think there's a lot of negative to the palette as well. That people don't want to say because one they're afraid of James Charles because well he gets crazy when people are negative and two because they adore him and that's fine I think he's he's a great youtuber but <laughs> well there you have it but um the palette it's just not I don't know why people are going crazy like people are going have gone really really crazy for this palette I'm just like well it's not the that only thing I like about this palette is the glitter yeah. It's the only thing. I'll sell mine to someone for 200 bucks. Six. I'm just kidding. Some of the colors I like. Yeah. yeah. I like like this. I think, light. yeah, I think they're very pretty. I've done, I've done a couple different looks. Like I said, I've used the palette about three times. Very pigmented, but a lot of fallout. And you do have to kind of work with them to get them to blend properly. But if you know what you're doing color-wise, um, it won't get mucky or yucky. You just got to kind of match the colors that are appropriate and blend them well. Yep. Right? Yep. So, I'm not saying the palette's bad. I'm just saying... It ain't what everyone is making it to be. Eyes. Okay, we are done the eyes, she Just, says. Uh, right. Then we're going to start on the bronzer after the eyeshadow. So, and this one's um, Kylie. And what color do we got? She picked out Toasty. <laughs> you are a beauty guru. You're hiding in the mirror so you don't blind them. All right, and for my bronzer, I do prefer the Morphe M. 530, which is a really nice. I like that. You got it right and here around it. the head and blend it. You got it. You got it. You can do this. Like right down? Yep. Oh. And then you go up around the head too, around the forehead. Basically, you do like the whole outside, but you got to make sure you blend it afterwards. Like that? Mm hmm. Oh, you almost contoured me. All right, girl. 
Good blenderoo. I really don't know how to use Bonzo, but I guess I do. Yeah, I guess you do. <laughs> Sassy. <laughs> I guess you do. All right, what's the next one? Blush, and I'm using Kylie, mm -hmm. the... Crush. Oh, this one came with her Valentine's Day collection. Here it is. Just this blush. That is my tried and true Mr. Right tooth toothbrush, Too Faced brush that I have had for quite a while. It's, it's a good brush. It's one of my favorite. Dab it in there. Really circle it. I was about to put it on my cheeks. You're about to put it on your cheeks. So you're going to put it on the apples on my cheeks? No, I just said smile. Like, and I went like this. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing like... Yeah, though. Ooh, you know what? So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna try, but it's all holographic, so good luck. It's the Dream Glow Kit. Um, I have literally swatched this palette, and that's it. That's it. Yeah, so pick a it. color. I want it. You want it? How about, let me see if I use it by the end of the month. If I don't, you can have it. And then I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna use this purple, and it's called uh ethereal ethereal that is a hard word yeah that's why i only ever swatched it it's way too oh chunky it's not like a smooth highlighter it's more glitter than it is anything else that's why i'm just i'm not the biggest fan let me show them so go ahead and show them so i'm gonna hold this up here it's actually obviously she got way too much on there but look at this palette like it just it has like so much kickback that is just not even. I it's want crazy. it, but it's doesn't matter. For a while. It has a lot of mess to it. She actually picked another one, and I'm gonna show it to you too. But I didn't like it. So I know, it but I'm gonna. Um, she liked this one better than that one. So the other one that she picked. Don't forget my nose, by the way, when we're done. So the other one she picked was the Nicole Guerrero glow kit, which actually I had the. Mm, which actually I had the same issues, only I think it was two of them were really highlighters, the other ones were glitter. So these two out of, I love the glow kits. I recommend the glow kits, they're beautiful. It's a good way to collect a, a multiple of highlighters without having to spend that money to buy individual ones. But the ones that are shaped like rectangles have just let me down every single freaking time. I have literally glitter all over my desk because of that. And also she dug into the highlighter, not gonna lie to you. The reason I picked this one is, the reason I picked this one is because I thought it was pretty. I, th I thought I liked these two, but I also didn't like the white. She did mm -hmm. not like the white one. No, no one really likes the white one. You can't really see it because the blinding I light. I would probably this put it in my crease. I think that um, Nicole Guerrero, like, I think she had a good idea, and I don't think that it's her. I think that whatever they do with these these rectangle palettes, they just don't turn out very well at all. Okay, so she is gonna use the white for my nose. Yeah, just for your nose, no. Okay. Not for the whole face. But I'm gonna use, and it's called? Forever Lit. Forever Light. Lit. Lit. We don't want that blood on <laughs> Okay, <laughs> first of all. All right, so what are we going into next? Lipstick. So we have a lot of YouTuber stuff in here. We have Nicole Guerrero. We had James Charles. We now have Manny. We got a couple Laura Lees in there. Some Desi X Katie options. <laughs> so we definitely had a lot of uh, YouTuber stuff. And the reason I picked this is because it's also red. And also there's a diamond. And it's like, very cute. I and love. I love, I love diamonds. Manny definitely. He, I think that he really went all out for this packaging and I love it. I it really, also smells good. Yeah, like, I like the like formula chocolate. of this one. It's like a Liquid. icing. Oh. Hell yeah. Ugh. Alright. The only thing is this one really does uh, get like on my teeth a lot. Alright? I think you're good. It definitely makes my lips on the top look like they're together. So we're all done then? What are we doing now? We're going to use this spray. That is the Lancome... Let me see what it is. I've only used it once. Lancome Fix and Forget up to 24 hour makeup setting mist with plants and extracts. Deflect and protect. It's setting spray, yes. So, close your eyes. Can mm -hmm. I do it two times? You're good. Do it all over. 
Maybe not so close to my face. Hi. Right, you did, one. however. One more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it went on my nose. She's going to be using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara on my lashes. So let's... She asked me if I wanted to do, like, regular lashes, like those stick-ons. But before she asked that, she said, do you know how to put on? And I'm like, no. No. I don't And I was on. not trying to get stabbed in the eye. <laughs> Anybody else not want to get stabbed in the eye? All right. Real eye, oh like the inside. <laughs> you better be careful. I don't do lower eyes. She does not do the lower I, lashes. I'm scared. She gets very scared. She does hers sometimes. Yeah. She does sometimes. Well, because the the brushes that I use are small. Mm -hmm. We get her. So when we get her mascara and stuff like that, we get her more of the like sample or like the travel size. Yeah. So they're smaller bristles and stuff like that, and she can use them. And I just used one when I was getting my makeup done. So what are we doing now? Done. Done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. Let me get it a little bit closer. It's kind of like a natural look. I don't look. think it's so bad. But I mean, I think I have glitter all over my desk, but really I think that's a palette issue. The highlighter is bomb, though. But I think I would probably wear that out. Go ahead and describe the look. What, what, look, what made you create this look? Um, my personality. I do look good in a red lipstick. Your personality? Pers yeah. Yeah? I like red. Okay. And I, I, I love glitter. <laughs> you, she does love She does love glitter. I, I have a problem with so glitter. So I think it turned out really well. So let's give Madison a round of applause. Thank you for being here with us today. And as always, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.